Kane is in the building. Yo, what's up, guys? Um, tell you the truth, I haven't been on YouTube for a long time, and, you know, the videos, I, I checked, you know, I was like, oh, man, I haven't done a video in, like, forever. I was thinking around two weeks. To be quite honest, it was two months, so it was just like, oh, shit, I gotta do a video. Um, this time, I fucking promise you I will get more videos out so you can see them every single day and, you know, such and such and blah, blah, blah. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna re review the Planet Eclipse um, Zig gear bag so, uh, you know, I can get, you know, um, one video out there before everybody starts, you know, bitching and everything else. I already lost two subscribers. So, let's get it done. Let's do it right now. Uh, let's Alright, so, uh, let's do this. Um, let's do this gear bag review. Alright, so, I've had this gear bag for a year, and, um, it has served its perfect purpose. I love this gear bag. To be quite honest, it's probably the best you'll ever, ever try getting a bigger gear bag for. And I'll tell you why. Alright, so, it's got some up and downs. Downs is, um, it's pretty heavy, for, um, to be quite honest. When you have all your stuff in there, it's quite heavy. The, um, the fabric and the fabric and the uh, material in the, you know, the gear bag itself is really freaking heavy. <laughs> it's quite, quite a, it holds you, holds you down. But anyway, um, let's go over some of the, some, some of the features. Alright, so, as you can see, there's two pockets. Big pocket, little pocket over there, little pocket. Um, little pocket serves as your gun slash hopper slash what else, what else, like, you know, a couple of, you can put a couple of guns in there, you know, a hopper in there, and that's pretty much what it serves its purpose for. Um, anyway, before I moved on, I did meet uh, Fedorov and... A, uh, Justin Rabakrov at um, at a pro camp. Bunch of nice guys, Russian Legion. You know they work hard for what they do. But anyway, all right. So back to review. Um, I'll kind of start from the the top, then going down to the bottom. These two pockets right here, great for having your cell phone and your iPod in there at all times. I I recommend you put them in there because if you put your iPod or your cell phone into the big pocket and you're carrying it around to the field you, the likelihood of this tank right here that metal part um, the gauge and everything is probably gonna <laughs> it's probably gonna smash into your iPod and crack the screen now that's not a good thing so you're gonna have to send out your uh, iPod or your phone out to whoever um, I have an AT&T phone so you get a new AT&T phone and you get I have an iPod touch which means it would take a hundred dollars to send out to Apple, wait a couple of days, get it back, and then you finally have your um, iPod back with the new screen in there, and you're just wasting money. So keep in mind if you want to uh, save some money, just put them into these uh, these pockets. Um, another cool feature on this this gear bag is that this right here, this is a pretty much a manual and you know kind of anything you really want to put in there. Um, I remember, like for tournaments, I always, I always have a expo marker in this bag at all times, because if you get the field layout, you can just put it right, you can zip it, put the field layout right here, and um, <coughs> and you can take the expo marker right on where you want to put um, put things and whatever. Get like a spray bottle, spray it down, and then wipe it off with a towel. Um, then again, if you want to um, put put a towel um, in your gear bag, I recommend it. Um, I just because some of the tables, like I know at Robin Hood, there's a lot of spools. I like to put my gun down on the the towel, wipe it off, and then you know put it back in my bag and get ready to go the next time. But um, uh, features in this, I don't know, a lot of shit in here. I'm not gonna lie. Rough jersey. Alright, so it has two pockets on the side. 
I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of hard to see it. But here's a pocket over here. Here's a pocket over here. And um, it is a great place to store your, your extra miscellaneous shit. I have a Tipming freaking grip in there. I have my tournament ID card and a whole bunch of stuff. You can put your miscellaneous stuff in here. Um, well, that's supposed to be in there. Uh, this pocket, it's a very long pocket. I normally put barrels and squeegees and swabs in, into this pocket. Uh, might as well put this in here. And I do have a vibe for use who use it. Any of you guys that don't know, I do have a vibe and it's just been chilling in my bag for a long time. So, <clears throat> a lot of pain over here. So let's get over this way. Let's go from the bottom outside and go to the back. Um, let me scan this up. Okay, so what you have here is the top of the gear bag. And you got your handle right here. This is all metal and this is plastic. And you got a button to move it up and down. Um, cool feature they put in here is that you can put your Allen keys and your. I got a couple of knives in here. Um, and you can put money in here, your wallet, put it in there. It's always going to stay dry because it's, uh, this is uh, like a plastic kind of material that, you know. They, it's going to keep the um, stuff dry. Um, quick thing, while I'm on the, the dryness, <laughs> the dryness, um, is that this gear bag is waterproof. I learned that um, when I was coming back from a tournament. It it was pouring down rain, and my um, my uh, friend's dad, he uh, he had his truck, and we had to put his gear our gear bags in his truck. I completely forgot that my gun, my vice was on top right here. It was right here in this area. Like right on top of everything. And this was all zipped up and everything. But um it was pouring down rain and I was like, oh shit, my vice is on top of my stuff. Oh shit, my bra my board's gonna be fried. Oh oh fuck, I'm screwed and everything like that. But like Okay, that was pretty sketchy. Um but like with everything else it it was all fine. The water um, is actually pretty nice. This material, um, it's kind of hard to describe, but like when water hits this, 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 you know, when it was all, it was he a p downpour of rain. This was this whole bag was soaked. And uh, right when I got home, I was like, oh shit, oh shit, this is gonna be bad. I come home, everything's dry in here. Even this part's dry. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it kind of sections off, okay? Here's one part of the material, and here's the other part of the material. It kind of sections off, so this keeps uh, keeps it, you know, wet, and then it will dry pretty soon. And the other side keeps it dry. So, um, I've beaten this thing down for a long time. I've had it for a year, so I've, I like to beat things up before I like to review it. Um... A tip, if you get this thing dirty, um, just take a spray bottle, spray it down. Um, you know, some some of these stains, that kind of looks like a jizz stain, but it really isn't. Um, that's what you think, but it really isn't. Um, to be quite honest, that was just a joke, so don't fucking take it that far. Um, everything will, it, it will dry and kind of, you know, clean off if you just spray it with a little spray bottle. But, uh... Let's go on to, you see this right here? That is a gun lock. And I'll show you a detailed kind of view on what the gun lock pretty much does. All right, so here's a gun lock right here. It's going around. Here's a gun. It goes through the bag, so you don't have to worry about your gun and your, um, your bag being stolen at, like, I don't know, a day of playing. Because this hooks onto a different, this hooks onto a pole. And it's going to be safe for the whole day. Uh, another cool feature is that, is that they gave you um, like a book bag kind of thing. So if you're like pretty much hiking with it, I don't think you'll ever hike with it because it's a really heavy bag. It is um, it's a pretty cool feature. I still have mine. Um, but 
that's pretty much it. And another good thing about this bag is that you see these wheels, they're really not that beat up, and I've had this for a year, and it pretty much kind of tells you the type of, you know, the strength of the wheels and, you know, how how good they are since they last, lasted for a year. But uh, that's about it. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Different crews, we walk the same path, but got on different shoes. Live in the same building, but we got different views. I got a couple cars I never get to use. Don't like my women single, I like my chicks and twos. And these days, all the girls is down the road.